Hi, everyone from Motion VFX. In this tutorial, we'll see how to recreate the project you'd have seen by adding elegant cinematic transitions from the M Transitions Fade Pack. M Transitions Fade can be located in the FX tab. Inside the toolbox, you will get access to the video transitions. Inside, you will find the Motion VFX folder where you will find all your free and paid transitions pack from Motion VFX. I will select M Transition Fade and I will get access to the 51 transitions available in this pack. Each preset has a specific thumbnails that will help you to visualize which kind of transition you will select. But you can also preview each transition by skimming the preset over with your cursor. If you don't see the preview, be sure to check if the Overscript preview is activated. If you really like a transition and you want to use it many times in the future, you can click on the star on the right to add it to the favorite sections. You can also set the transition as a standard transition with a right click and by selecting Set as Standard Transition. There will be a little red vertical line to indicate that this transition is a standard one. You can apply the standard transition very easily by placing the playhead at the beginning, the end or in between two clips and then press Command plus T. I will hide the left panel to display more transitions. I will select my transition in the timeline and open the inspector to get access to all the parameters, as all the transitions are customizable. First, you can adjust the duration of the transition. You can do it directly inside the timeline by trimming the transition. Inside the inspector, the duration will be updated automatically in seconds or in frames of value. Of course, you can edit the duration directly inside the inspector to be more accurate. Below, you will find the three options for the alignment of the transitions, right, center, and left. In this case, the alignment is on the left, as I have applied the transition at the beginning of the clip. Let's preview the transition. To get the real-time playback, I will activate the render cache feature in the playback menu and select Smart. As soon as the red line is fully blue, it means that the transitions can be played in real time. But first, I will mute the music track. So as the name of this transition suggests, we have a left pan to reveal the shot with a light blur effect. All of this is fully customizable. In the inspector, you will find two main controls, the transition controls and the fade controls. Inside the transition controls, you will get access to the effects parameter. For this transition, I will be able to switch on or off the radial blur, and I will be able to modify the value. With the fade control, you will be able to change the color of the fade, but also the blending mode to completely change the look of the final effect. Let's switch to the overlay mode. As I want to start from a black screen, I will stay on the black color value. Almost all the transitions are plug and play and very explicit on what they do. But there are six custom transitions that you can tweak to get your own effect. On the next cut, I will drag and drop the custom rotate in preset. I will select the transition and in the inspector, inside the transition controls, we can see that we have access to more parameters. With this preset, I can modify the position of the pivot point. I can do it with a value inside the inspector or I can activate the Fusion Overlay Viewer option to be able to modify the pivot point directly inside the viewer. So I will click on the green cross and move it around the clip. I will increase the rotation value a bit and I can also push the value of the radial blur. Maybe too much? To reset any parameters, you just have to double click on the parameter's name. Next, I will select a cut. I can drag and drop the M Transition Fade Zoom Out preset on it, but I can also do a right click and select Add the selected edit points and clips to add it directly to the cut selected. First, I will adjust the duration. I will let the default value and ask to render the preset. I've got a nice and smooth transition. I would like to add a nice pace in the edit, so I would like to copy this transition and apply it to the next cut. Of course, you can copy-paste the transitions, but you can also press the Option key and drag the transition. It will automatically create a copy of this transition. 
On this copy, I will adjust the duration to one second to get a better result with this shot. And we are good. For the last example, I will select the cut. We can see that the outgoing clip is green and the incoming clip is red. DaVinci Resolve is telling us that the clip doesn't have handles for the transition. So if I want to add the M transition fade rotate in preset, a pop-up window will appear and tell us there is not enough content to create the transition. So we'll have three options. First, cancel the operation. The second option, trim clips, will automatically trim the clip to get enough content for the transition, but it will shorten the clip. The third option will skip the operation for this clip. So I will select trim clips. Then I will extend the clip until the end of the music. I can preview the transition. And we are good. M Transition Fade is a perfect pack to elevate your edit atmosphere with an elegant touch. All transitions are plug and play and fully customizable. To get more information on it and to all the other plugins for DaVinci Resolve, one address, motionvfx.com. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.